This video will be looking at something called mini pop tubes. And these are like a sensory toy or a fidget toy or something like that. It's been really tearing up Amazon. And uh, I like these little toys and uh, sometimes I pick them up now and then just for, you know, playing at my desk while I'm doing computer work, what have you. Uh, so the mini pop tubes, and, and there's a bunch of different brands. I bought the ones from Bunmo called the mini pop and twist. This is the, uh, the mini, which is the smallest size. And they come in an eight pack. They look like this. And what it is, it's a little plastic tube that you can pull out and push back. They make this sort of satisfying noise like this. And then you could push them back like that. It's a pretty simple toy. I don't know what else to call it. It's not like a a toy like a, you play with, like a teddy bear or a Lego or something, but usually these things are called fidget toys or sensory toys. There's not a lot of features to this one. Obviously you could pull it out, push it back, and then they have threading here and here. So you can thread them together like this, or you could thread them to themselves if you wanna make a ring. And, uh, you can kind of do that. Obviously, you can't twist it. It'll only twist so much in and up, in, you know, onto itself. But you can kind of push it on there as a ring. It doesn't work that well. But, uh, you know, if you want to play around, you can. To get a really good hold, you do have to put them together like this. And it does lock in quite nicely. And now you have a much longer tube. And, uh, you know, the sound is a little bit different. And uh, I don't know, it's just fun. It's not, the twisting isn't really a fun fidgety activity as much as popping in and out, but uh, it's something you could do. The box comes with these little holes in it right here. Insert tube here, it says, and then holes in the back, which are a little bit confusing at first until you see the threading. And then you could see that you can thread this in here. And uh, I don't know what you would do, but you can make a sort of a little toy or a little holder, what have you. So that's pretty fun. Not, there's not a whole lot to it, right? It's a plastic tube with some crinkles in it that goes in and out. Uh, and that's fun. It's fun to play with. It is loud. So it's not something you want to do around other people. Like you will drive them crazy if you're doing this all day. If you keep it a little quieter like this, or maybe just going one at a time, or you do it at an angle, then it's not so bad. And maybe if you're at in an office or not too far around other people, it won't bother them too much, but it can get quite loud. So that's kind of the mini pop tube. This is the smallest size, which is called the mini. It's also sold in a standard size and in an XL size which are, uh, they get it to be a good deal larger than this. This pack was eight of them for about eight or nine dollars, so about a buck each. Uh, then they go up from there. But the prices don't get too high. You just start getting less tubes. Uh, I will say that I've had a serious problem with these, which are, these are ostensibly a kid's toy. And what happens is, this is one that got kind of manhandled. And what happened is that this... The tube is a, is a ring, right? Or a circle, whatever you want to call it. If there's a crease in that circle, then it will no longer push together. It'll just sort of mush up. And it's really hard, if not impossible, I've found to fix these little creases. You know, if you manipulate it, maybe you can get it. But realistically, once it's pushed in, it's really hard to get these working again. You really have to have to work at it. And then even then you can see how this doesn't collapse as much as it used to. Like here is where it was never damaged and here it was damaged. And yeah, you can kind of get it back in with enough, uh, you know, playing, but they, they really just don't respond well to having, if they were to just basically what happens to ruin it, you just, if someone pushes like that, now it's creased and it's really hard to get back. 
and you know it's pretty easy to tell an adult like uh, just don't do that but with a kid you know they're playing with it maybe they're being a little rough or if you step on it or push it in it's really easy to break these and now it's i'm not gonna say it's ruined but it's definitely not as good as it was before and you have to really work at getting it back to where it was to the point where i don't think a, a kid could fix these if they start getting messed up so it's pretty annoying i don't even think i could get this one fixed so they are quite fragile that's probably why you get eight of them in a pack and th this one is obviously was really messed up this one is i would say more typical where it's in good shape overall but you see some areas where someone mashed it in so this one's basically i would say like 85 maybe even 90 percent perfect and then there's a little bit of damage here. Okay, that doesn't affect it, all good. Clearly some damage here, and you push it back, and it just doesn't go. And you can kind of maybe sort of get it, but it's really hard, and you know what? Maybe this one's just never gonna be as effective as it was. Anyway, so that's a quick review of the mini pop tubes. This one is from a company called Bunmo, B-U-N-M-O, but uh, from what I could tell, they're all the same. I don't, I don't think they're really different than one another. Some call them mini pop tubes. Some call them pop and twist tubes. These are ones are called mini pop and twist pop in tubes. But they're essentially just all the same thing. They're just these fun little uh, plastic tubes that make some noise.